Am I the only person who's kind of bored of collabs in general? And when I mean collabs in general, I feel like nowadays every brand is collaborating, obviously because it's a easy, somewhat cheap way to kind of expand your customer base and to reach new audiences and to get more customers. Because in a way, you would say fashion brands especially, they're basically going into the same pool again and again and again. It's kind of rare, unlikely they're going to get new fans of their clothes. You're just trying to remind people that are already buying your clothes to buy more of them. And I just think nowadays, there's just so much shit out there that I think sometimes, even though the clothes are nice, do they really need to exist? That's what I'm trying to think. Do they really need to exist? And I say all that to say, because I've seen this new collection, collaborate, well, this new capsule collection with Dior and Stone Island, and as lovely as it looks, as beautiful as some of it looks, as well-constructed as it looks, as high quality as it probably all is, big up Kim Jones featured himself in a lookbook. Again, this is why I want to open my own club. Right. This is why I want to open my own club, because Kim Jones, the creative director of, of Dior, has you know decided to put himself in a lookbook. It's the same thing that I want to do in my own club. I want to book myself to play every fucking single weekend, the same way Joe Rogan books himself to play at the Comedy Mothership. This is what happens when you run the show. This is what happens when you're the boss. You can decide you're the model. You can decide you're the stylist. You can decide you're the chief executive, chief financial officer, marketing manager, brand director. You can decide your HR. You can decide whatever you want to be. So big up Kim Jones. But all that to be said, as great as this looks, even this jacket, right? Look at the fucking quality of this jacket. Even from these pictures, it looks fucking lush. The leather looks fucking buttery. The cut is absolutely amazing. But does it need to exist? Do we have collaboration overload? Is there such a thing as collaboration fatigue? Two amazing brands, especially Stone Island, when it comes to outwear, Stone Island makes some of the best jackets ever. Um, you know, football fans will uh, abide by it, especially being all weather, all terrain. Amazing jackets, even for the money. They last for fucking ages. Great resale value also, if you're into that sort of thing. But does this need to exist? Do we need another Stone Island collaboration with another big, like, where's all these clothes? What happened to sustainability, by the way? What happened to everybody caring about sustainability? What happened to being environmentally conscious? Like, where are all these clothes going to end up? In TK Maxx? In some skip somewhere? At the bottom of the ocean, choking a turtle? As great as all this stuff looks, like even that yellow jacket, absolutely gorgeous, right? This yellow trench coat, this yellow, this yellow trench coat, I'd wear the fuck out of it, right? The suit probably not so much, but this yellow trench coat with the fucking, look, look, at, the, look at that branding. That is, that's made for black people and Asian people. Black and Asian people are going to be all over this. Walking around with a sleeve that has a Stone Island patch and Dior embroidered is like the dream for label obsessed black and Asian people. They're going to be all over this shit. But does it need to exist? That's the question. Does it actually need to exist or is there collaboration fatigue and overload? For me, I'm collaboration fatigued, even though I like these shorts. These shorts are really nice. These cargo shorts with the pockets on them and shit. Um, the top is interesting too. What's that? Is that like, but oh, it's like pearls. There's like these rose pearls things, I guess, on there. Very Dior. That's one thing you're gonna get with Kim Jones. Kim Jones loves a bomber jacket. If there's one thing Kim Jones is gonna fucking design the fuck out of, he's gonna design the. Uh, he's made millions of versions of a bomber jacket. He loves a bomber jacket. That's one of his favorite silhouettes. But again, do we need another one of these collaborations? Aren't are we tired? Oh, this is lovely though. This M65. This yellow M65 jacket with the mesh bottom pockets. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm, I'm afraid to find out how much all this stuff is, by the way. This this circular bag is also really nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Telfar bag. Telfar made a similar Telfar made a similar bag, I think, with Eastpac. Is it Telfar? Let me see if I can find it on here. Telfar circle bag. I think they made a circle bag before. There you go, yeah. Telfar made this really cool bag with their logo in, as a circle motif or circle design, sorry. And it kind of looks a bit similar to what Stone Island doing um, with this particular bag that I'm showing you there. So, but obviously it fits the logo. So it's not like they copied them because it fits the logo. Um, so that's pretty cool. Or, although they could have made it rectangular to fit the badge look as well. But I quite like how they just did the fucking compass on the Stone Island logo itself, which again looks similar to the Telfar thing they did before. Uh, they got an Eastpac one and a Level one. But like I said, like, you know, we don't really need this, you know? It doesn't really do anything interesting. doesn't really move the needle in any way, shape, or form. Stone Island could have done this themselves without collaborating with Dior. 
Dior could have done this without collaborating with Stone Island. The shoes are horrendous. But I'm sure there's some people going to be loving these. But I fucking hate these shoes. These kind of canvas shoes with the Dior logo written all over them. Personally, they're not for me. But I'm sure some people will like them. It's a nice cardigan here. Okay, not too bad. The actual colorway of the cardigan is quite nice itself, right? This kind of heavy red color, which kind of reminds me of um those Uniqlo socks you get in a pack. For, you get three for five or whatever. That, that kind of color reminds me. This is actually really nice. This set is actually gorgeous. I'd actually wear the fuck out of this set. This set is like, a, it's almost like a salmon pink. And it's also got matching shoes. That set is really fucking gorgeous. That's really nice. It almost reminds me a little bit of the Supreme thing they did before as well. That's a really, you've got this utility vest with these really nice silver, I, I, I'm not sure if they're silver buttons or pearly buttons, but the buttons are really nice. I really like the big front flat pocket. So the front here, I think you can unzip, a, oh no, not unzip. Maybe this is a, that's a pocket. It's concealed there. You can unzip it, but it goes around. So there's a lot of room. You've got big pockets here on the side also. This is nice festival wear. This stuff will go really, really well in the festival. You know, you'd be risky to wear this at a festival because it's obviously maybe two grams worth of clothing, but it's nice festival season wear. I also like the layering here as well. The proportions, the cuts are really nice. You've got this really diagonal cut there on the vest jacket, on the utility jacket. And there's also a nice strap there, actually, I didn't see. There's actually a good strap here. You can cinch um, the waist to give it a little bit of a designing pop. you got, I don't know if that's a blanket in the, the arm that they're wearing or that's a scarf. Whatever that is, that looks kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, another, more of the same. You know, more of the same. More of the same. I think I've got collaboration fatigue. I don't want to see any more of these, but I know these brands do it because, you know, it's easy. And it's a way to kind of market and promote yourself. You've got a bigger circle bag here as well that they like. But personally for me, I'm kind of over it. I'm over all these collaborations. I'm tired. This key ring is kind of cool, I guess. But I'm kind of tired. I'm not going to lie. Let's actually see the blurb. It says, collaboration efforts between Kim Jones have become the norm at Dior. Um, again, big up Kim Jones because he comes from a streetwear background, you know, so it's great to see him doing great things and obviously um, killing it over there at Dior. Um, it continues there. It says, during his tenure at French Luxury House, the creative director has brought in a series of big name collaborations, including the likes of Coors, Travis Scott, blah, blah, blah. Collaborations give way to Jones to explore modern tropes and intersections between high fashion and streetwear. Merging both fashion houses, conventions, and techniques, the collection is heavily influenced by military silhouettes, taking Dior's tailoring style, um, tailoring story, and collections, and finds uncommon ground between the two. The pieces are co-branded with both labels, signs, and symbols, including the double pleat originating from Dior's spring, 20, spring 1952 collection, um, Stone Island's Dutch rope detailing, Stone Island's iconic compass insignia is incorporated throughout the collection from badges um, on the bottom of the sleeves to so the trousers and accessories. In footwear, the sneakers take on Stone Island's leather cotton satin make with a stitch Dior oblique patterns. Take a look and it's due to come out. When's it coming out? No, no date, no date on release yet so far. Oh no, it is. Release date is going to be June 14th and July 4th. So they're really pushing this early, isn't it? big promo run for this shit they want to get it out there to people to wear but i don't know how many people are going to actually see wearing it apart from people that get it for free but hey big up stone island and dior i guess but i'm tired of collaborations i'm in tired of collaborations 